Well, when it rains, it pours. This is the HP computer that I had in here a few days ago that the hard drive was starting to click and I had replaced it with a new one and I showed you how to clone. Maybe you remember that hard drive in there. Well, there's a new problem that exists with this HP. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. The HPs um, seem like they have a lot of weird problems. Maybe it's just me, but uh, this one is not even booting up. Uh, you can hear it running right now. There's no BIOS kick in. There's nothing coming from, uh, to the screen. Let's force it to shut down here. I'll wait a second here and fire it back up. So because of the symptoms, I'm thinking um, the first place I'm going to look is the RAM. Just give this one more chance to fire up. That's a good sign, but I've seen this before and what it does is it loops. Let's just start it up normally here. And I see in the blue screen there, I don't know if you've got a chance to see that, but uh, yep, and then it's rebooting. So, the first thing I'm going to do, yeah, see it's asking me for safe mode again. Let's try it one more time here. I seen that blue screen. Okay, so I'm pull the power cord here. Okay, so my first suspicions are one of the memory modules. So I'm going to begin there. I'm going to take just one out and try to fire it again. Plug it back in. So BIOS is booting up. See if it starts in a loop. Okay, this seems normal. Look at that. How lucky is that? I know it's a little early to brag. But it's looking good. Well, I was that lucky. That's great because not only is this computer here for repair, but it's mine also. And I use this computer to do uh, some of the PHP tutorials, so that's why it's important to get it running. I'm going to let this computer run a little bit longer, but that appeared to be the problem is this memory module. It was causing it to loop on startup and it was shutting down unexpectedly for no reason. This is a 2 gig DDR2 667 megahertz chip. So I will try to find a replacement for that, but for now, I am going to let it run on this chip that's already in there. I'm going to restart it several times just to make sure that was the problem. I'll try it now. It's going to take some all-day testing to be sure. But it's looking really good. Okay, I'm going to attempt to start this up again and see how it's acting. I've still got the 2 gig memory module out of it. Let's just see if that was the problem. 
That would be great if that's the only problem with this machine. And it is booting. So, <laughs> if you're having problems with your machine booting, going to blue screen, uh, shutting down unexpectedly, one of the first and smartest things that you can do is take the memory modules out one at a time and try the computer and see if that's not your problem. In this case, that seems to be what the problem was with the HP machine. So uh, thanks for watching. That's a good sign. Booga booga. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.